So you might be wanting to go ahead and basically turn off the little Siri shortcuts notification bar that comes up when you actually run a Siri shortcuts. So it really depends if like it depends on exactly what you're trying to do. There are a few times that I've done like a few Siri shortcut like application like separate add to home screen kind of things. But the way to do this, you have to be on iOS 15 or iOS 16 or newer. So I feel like iOS 16 has been a little bit more reliable in that sense. But what you can do is you want to open up Siri shortcuts and you want to come into your main panel. So you can try adding a panel this way, but it, sometimes it doesn't work. So go and click under your automation tab right here. And all you're going to want to do is create a personal automation. So click on create personal automation here, and you can choose whatever you're going to want to do. In this case, I'll just click the first one. And here it says time of day, every day it's going to run whatever. You probably don't want to do this one, so you probably want to figure out which one works best for you. The app one actually may end up working a little bit better for some people, but essentially choose whatever you want to go ahead and do. And then what you want to do is you want to set up whatever it is. And when you click next, you'll be able to go ahead and choose and create your specific, you know, specific thing. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click add action. So in this case, I'll just choose the open app and I want to go ahead and click on an application that I want to go ahead and open. So in this case, I'll just use a different one for this example. I'll use whatever this one is. And then what you want to do is you want to click next. Now you will see these two options come up. You'll see ask before running. You don't want to ask before running. You just want to go ahead and run it. And it says, you know, don't ask before running. Exactly. You just don't want to ask it for running. Now, sometimes there could be right there. That way, when it says notify when run, you want to go ahead and turn both of these things off. Now, both these things are on, then that's going to be kind of annoying. So you want both of these things off. And now, anytime this shortcut will run, it basically will not notify you and it really won't bother you either. So that is basically how it's done. It's a pretty basic process for the most part. And if you don't see that, that basically means you're on iOS 14 or below. So if you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.